Here we go. Stage five. Let's do a review. If you're new to the show or you haven't heard us talk this week, unveiling the five stages to realizing the dream. Been working on this for a while, listening to you, the callers, and I want you to have in your mind a pathway, something that you can hold on to and say, where am I at in this journey? Where am I in this journey? So that when we know where we are, we can assess what we need to do and measure the progress on the path to where we want to go. you got to know where you are. Oh, folks, scoreboard, scoreboard, scoreboard. You ought to have a scoreboard for every area of your life. Scoreboard for financial, scoreboard for relational, scoreboard professional. You just got to keep score all the time. By the way, I love these people that go, oh, we don't need to keep score. They're little kids. They're five and six years old. We don't need to keep score. It's youth soccer. Let me tell you something. The kids are keeping score. Nobody has to teach a human being how to keep score. Everybody is keeping score. If you're not keeping score, you're the only one. So, back to the five stages. Had to get that off my chest. Stage one is discovery. This is where I'm figuring out who I really am specifically. What are my natural, God-given talents, things that I do well? Next, passions. What fuels my soul? What gives me fire? What turns my engine on when I am engaged in this work? Oh, I am feeling the juice. So we discover who we are by looking at talent and passion. And then we put them together and we discover what is my purpose. I'm going to use my top talents to perform my great passions. This is how I discover work that really matters. It's not that difficult. Might be six, seven, eight different career paths here in the sweet spot. There's no one silver bullet job or career. But what there is is a sweet spot. And that's how it works. Stage two is R, D-R. R is stage two. That's research. Once I know who I am and where I want to go, i got to figure out the best way to get there. And this is where I do the research. We revealed several questions that you ask uh, in the research stage. Specifically, who do I need to know? What do I need to learn or do? How long is that going to take? How much is it going to cost me? And then the third stage. This is when we've got clarity on Mount Everest. We have got a plan and a path. We know what the training needs to look like. We have a good idea what the climb is going to be like and what we have to do to make a successful climb. Now it is the time to embark. This is the E. Start out on the journey. As we embark, we move into stage four, and this is where the momentum happens. This is where confirmation happens. This is exciting when we begin to achieve many milestones. And as we as we just move along, we just get more and more momentum, more and more clarity, more and more confirmation, more and more confidence. And then, oh, we get courage because we go, hey, I'm not loony. Even if I get a setback, I know that I'm on the right path, and I know that I can get where I'm trying to get to. So that leads us to when we achieve, 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 and we keep racking up the goals, and we do what we're supposed to do, we pay our dues, there's a moment where we step out of stage four, if you will, into stage five, which is meaning. That is where we step into the sweet spot, and we're doing work that matters deeply to us. And we feel the reward of significance. Everybody talks about success. I'm after significance. Because when I am realizing my significance through my role, I'm successful. It's not the other way around. You don't have to get to success to experience significance. It's not that way. It's actually the other way around. True success only comes after I realize and model significance. So meaning is, oh, that's the moment, right? That's that's the moment where we, 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 we wake up one day and we go, I can't believe I get paid to do this. And we're pinching ourselves. And, 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 and we have to sit down for a moment from time to time and look back and say, wow, that was a crazy journey. 
I'm the 15 year overnight success, you know? So that's meaning. Now, real quick thought on this, because I want our tribe, I want us to begin to talk in these terms. When you call in, I want you to say, hey, Ken, I'm in stage one. I'm in discovery stage. Because I because it really helps you put context on your journey. And I want people to get this, to see that it's doable. Now, here's what else I want you to understand. The reason I want us to really begin to lock into these stages is because when you step into the meaning stage, which is where I'm at, okay, I'm in stage five, it doesn't stop. Here's what I love. When I get into the meaning stage and I'm doing work that matters to me, and trust me, I am, okay, I can't believe I get to do this every day. But I continue to discover more about where my talents and passions can produce more to help others. And then I got to go research and then I got to embark and then I've got to achieve. Okay. So we talk about books and curriculum and, and assessments, all these things. That's what I'm doing right now, right? That's down the line. That's in the future, but it never stops. And we continually grow for the purpose of helping others with our gift with our passion. 